Hi, buddy. <laughs> he says, what are we doing back in this hospital? We're just waiting for the doctor. We're just waiting for the doctor. Look at those rosy cheeks. Look at those rosy cheeks. Sebastian is not very happy right now. We are at the hospital to get his pick line pulled and it's stuck. Like literally stuck inside of his body. It won't come out. Hey, it's okay. We're gonna figure it out, okay? It's all good. So now we're hanging out waiting for um, IR, internal radiation to come down. The people who place the pick line, we're waiting for one of them to come down uh, to see if they can pull it out. So, got the stitches out of his arm back here. Well, you can't see them now because they're covered. Uh, we took the stitches out that was keeping this plastic part, this purple part, in place. This part was stitched in. Um, sorry. <laughs> and then the rest of the line should have just been able to pull straight out smoothly, just like last time. Um, but it is not. So wondering if a little bit of scar tissue may be healed around the line inside if that's the case i have no clue um no clue what's gonna have to happen they might have to pull it um and then do an ultrasound make sure or an x-ray to make sure there's no bleeding or anything so what should have been about a 15 minute appointment is going to be a couple hours now <laughs> Okay, so the nurse just came in. I don't even know how I'm gonna be able to explain this, but basically there is a cuff inside his arm where the line goes in that kind of tightens around the line inside of his arm, um, as far as I understand, to keep it in place a little bit more. So basically what they have to do is what we're thinking, wondering if we can do is just give him the local anesthetic, like a little bit of light, light, lidocaine, local pain relief. Um, my brain is a little scattered right now because we weren't prepared for this. We thought we were able to just come in and they're going to pull this line out. And it's a little, there's more steps that needed to happen that we weren't prepared for. Like he shouldn't have had breakfast this morning if, you know, if we had the information we have now, which the hospital didn't let us know about, things would be different but anyway they basically have to numb the area and then take four steps and go in where this line goes in and kind of open it and then they can pull the line out which obviously is painful without medication to numb that area so um now we're just kind of waiting to see what's going to happen and uh, if they're going to give him like a local pain medication or if he needs to be completely sedated which means we would have to be admitted because they would have to um monitor him coming out of sedation so I have no clue not uh not what we prepared for that's for sure we just got home are you so happy he was just reaching for his arm over here and I feel like he's no it's like it's gone no more, no more Ivy. It's done. <laughs> Support of Zeus. He did so good. You guys, I'm not even going to lie. We got home and I took a really big nap. I am I don't know why the camera is focusing in and out. I have no clue. I can't figure it out. I will try to do that, but uh the appointment ended up going great. We figured it out. Everything was good. It was just very stressful and I probably overreacted and got a little too stressed out. Uh, can't help it. I got a lot of PTSD from the hospital and that's just is what it is There was a minute there. We thought there was a stitch inside that had to you know had to be surgically basically taken care of where they had to put him under and they had to open and Open the line area cut the stitch Blah blah blah. We thought we were gonna have to be admitted But um, they transfer transferred us down to interventional radiology. I think I said internal radiology earlier uh, but they transferred us down there and they were able to pull the line. So. I am so beyond happy for Sebastian that this line is gone. He's going to get to take a bath tomorrow. It's going to be the best bath ever. I'm going to let him lay there as long as he wants. But um, I feel I feel like I get better and then I get sick again. And then I get better and then it, like this cold or whatever we have just isn't quite gone yet. 
and um, it's about seven o'clock now. I, I really had intentions to record more, but my energy levels are so low, especially I think I'm having a little bit of a stress response from the day. Just thinking like, you know what, just to be keep it as real as I can. It's like with Sebastian sometimes, it's like, man, it's always something, right? Like it can never just be simple. It's always something. And I had that feeling again today. And I think it triggered a little bit of emotions and stuff. In me, no, mama, don't get stressed out, mama, no. Um, but I am really, really happy for him. I just need to take care of myself tonight, and I'm going to put him in bed, and then I think I'm going to take a little bath, and I, I'm going to go back to bed because I'm not feeling great. So I'm sorry this video is not very long, but I did want to give you an update that the line is out. We are done. We are done with antibiotics. And I'm very, very happy for Sebastian, but I need to go to sleep. <laughs> um, I did take a video, a very short video I'll post after, the, after this of Sebastian the other day. Um, he was trying to color. We're doing a little bit of vision therapy with him. So I will post that at the end so you can see that and smile and the video with a smile. Um, and if I'm feeling better, we'll see you guys tomorrow. I promise I'll be more excited about the line removal tomorrow when hopefully I'm feeling better. I don't want this whole quick video to be me sleepy and sick and complaining and take away from the fact that we are finally at this milestone because it is a huge milestone. I'm very happy for him. Very proud of him. Yes, we got better lighting now, huh? No! <laughs> I'm very, very happy for him. Um just very tired. So we will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. I did not forget by the way about my muffin recipe. I never ended up making them. When I do make them, I will record because I know a lot of people want that recipe. Okay. You say good night. <laughs> Could you say good night? What are you doing? Are you trying to tell everybody what happened today? Tell them. Come on. I can't hear you. <laughs> okay, guys. Say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. No. <laughs> I know. It's bedtime, though. <laughs> Sweet kid. It's just got a little patch on it for now. And we can take that off tomorrow, and then he can bathe tomorrow. Here, was that your tummy? Mama, touch your tummy? I'm going to get him changed and get him put into bed. I love you. I love you. <laughs> He's so sweet. A boo, 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 boo. Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> What? What are you saying? <laughs> Get it. Good job. Yeah, there you go. You can't chew on it. <laughs> you can't chew on it. Go ahead. Give it a try. You have to look down. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs>